In this video I'm trying a very Eastern European airline and flying from Budapest to Vienna via Belgrade with boxing the overhead panel, with broken seats and with a tractor waiting for us at the apron. I have had a very Balkan flight experience. I've also tried the Air Serbia business launch, so I have a lot to show you. Come with me. So I'm starting my journey at my home base airport in Budapest and today I have to proceed to passport control as I'm leaving the Schengen area and flying out of the non-Schengen zone and for that I just need to have a passport with me and I just go through the e-gates if you have European passport or if you have any other passport you just show it to the officers you get a stamp and then you're good to go and um, as a Hungarian I require to have a passport with me to travel to Serbia an ID card is not enough and now I'm moving on to the lounge area at Budapest airport in the non Schengen zone and I'm gonna try the Plaza Premium Lounge which is the main lounge for Emirates, Lot Polish Airlines, El Al Israel, British Airways and Korean Air and uh, if you have a priority pass, a launch key or a dragon pass uh, and if you buy like a pass on your mobile then you get to enter this one. Let's just quickly check the food selection of this lunch and uh, compared to other lunches at Budapest airport this one is similar to the one in the Skycard area to the Mastercard lunch and uh, the Celebi Platinum lunch which is next to this one is, is actually better in my opinion. Here is our small ATR-72 to Belgrade. Air Serbia is using this plane mostly for shorter Eastern European destinations, so to Croatia, Slovenia, to Macedonia, to Montenegro, to Bosnia-Herzegovina, to Romania, and yep, for flights not lasting more than one hour. As I enter the cabin of this small ATR, the first impressions are not bad. So the smell is pretty good, the seats are looking comfortable and okay, the corridor is not wide so it's not easy to fit between the two seats but um, yeah, it's, it, it looks great so far. <laughs> At this point I absolutely don't have a locust flight feeling, so the boarding music is making it feel like I'm sitting on a national carrier rather than a locust airline. Uspravite naslone sedišta, zatvorite stočiće ispred vas, spustite rukohvate i otvorite zavesice na prozorima. Vaš ručni prtljan, dva izlaza u prednjem delu aviona i dva izlaza u zadnjem delu aviona. Imajte na umu da najbliži izlaz može biti i iza vašeg sedišta. U slučaju evakuacije, pratite instrukcije posade. So we made it up in the air but we don't have many time because we will be descending into Belgrade in like 20 minutes. So Air Serbia's network is mostly based on connecting these Eastern European capitals with large Western European airport hubs. So they offer fairly cheap flights from cities like Budapest, Zagreb, Ljubljana or Skopje to cities such as like Frankfurt, London or Oslo or Copenhagen. 
and with a small connection in Belgrade and it seems like a nice strategy for them so as you can see you can buy foods and drinks on board what you can also buy are these aircraft models but not on board but later at the airport and here's the fleet map of Air Serbia they have one A330 operating and with the Nikola Tesla livery the airport's uh, name is also Nikola Tesla you know the famous Serbian inventor and here is the route map and this is what I was telling that they fly to many destinations in Europe from the smaller Eastern European cities as you can see they, they have so many and this is the perfect visualization of the strategy I was telling you before that they collect for example businessmen from these small Eastern European cities with their turboprop planes they bring them to Belgrade and from Belgrade they use their bigger planes their A320s and A390s to bring them to major Euro European hubs like Frankfurt or London uh, within a short time frame so with a very short connecting time in Belgrade so this is a nice possibility also for businessmen also for um, for trip reporters like me and five minutes after reaching our cruising altitude the crew started the onboard service we first received a bottle of water and two small cookies and this is a very nice gesture from Air Serbia this is something I really appreciate that they still keep their national airline passion and they still have a complimentary onboard service although the flight ticket was 38 euros to Belgrade and it's not expensive so it's cheap for 38 euros and we have a service on board like wow many airlines don't do this well these Air Serbia ATR 72s have a capacity of 72 seats and they are in pretty good condition the legroom is is very good compared to low-cost airlines and they are on average eight to nine years old when I got back at my seat and looked up I saw that there are some bugs in the overhead panel light I don't know if it's supposed to be normal or other airlines also has bugs in the overhead panel lights but I, it just surprised me you know <laughs> And while walking down the aisle, I also realized that there are some broken armrests, like this one. And now let's check out the toilet. Ooh, yeah. Now considering the size of the aircraft, the toilet is nice. If the scenery wouldn't be enough to tell that I'm in the Balkan, there's this guy arriving with a tractor next to the air, next to the plane, and there's this guy in the Tom Taylor shirt rotating the engines. The, the other guy is just walking there. We start collecting our baggages, please, with the tractor and bring it to the terminal. Thank you. If you have a connecting flight, it's very easy. You just get off the bus, you have to walk upstairs, and there will be a lady opening the door and shouting connecting flights, and then you have to go that way follow the lady and you're already in the transit zone and that's it you just rush to your next flight so to connect in bag rate it's like like 40 minutes is more than enough well if you have a longer connection in Belgrade from 4 5 up to 7 hours then it's maybe worth trying the Air Serbia premium lounge uh, which is uh, located within the transit area and if you have a launch key or dragon pass you can enter with that or you can either pay for the entrance free here at the reception desk 
So if you want to spend your connection time in more comfort, then the Air Serbia Business Lounge is a great solution for you. But the variety of foods served in this lounge is, is not very impressive. So I'm not impressed by the selection of hot meals and by the taste of food offered in this business lounge. But to mention something good about this lounge is the shower. So you can take a shower between your two flights in a very modern and clean area. You can get your towels at the reception desk. And here is the here is the shower and there's like, yep, it's, it's very good. So all in all, except the food, everything was very great here in this business lounge. They could improve their food selection and their drink selection and then we would have a pretty decent Air Serbia business launch here. As this launch is located in the middle of the transit area, it's very easy to catch your flight from either side of the terminal building. I'm just wondering how many of these bags are considered as lost baggage. I'm already boarding my flight to Vienna and it's operated by an Embraer E190 and it's a lease jet from a Greek charter airline from Marathon Airlines. It's just used by Air Serbia in the summer peak season and the cabin also belongs to Marathon Airlines and they just only changed the headdress covers but I'm happy about this because it's supposed to be more comfortable than just the normal Air Serbia seat. So that's good. The legroom is insanely great and I'm in the back section of the economy cabin. Unlike on my previous flight from Budapest to Belgrade, here we have sandwiches available to purchase on board. On the other flight we had all these snacks available, but this one is supposed to be a longer flight so they have a different menu card with uh, more food options. The only difference in the seat pocket is the safety card because it's a Marathon Airlines card and not an Air Serbia one. Now again, on this a um, little bit more than one hour flight, we received some small cookies and a bottle of water for free of charge. We are flying over my home city, Budapest. There you can see the new Olympic Stadium where they hosted the World Athletic Championships this year, this summer. And yes, that's my town over there. You can see the Danube all the way through the city and the Margaret Island in the middle. Make sure your hand luggage is safe and stolen. Sit in front of you in your hand locker. Remind you that all the electronic
and we just arrived in the non Schengen terminal of Vienna Airport and we're just heading to passport control as we need to enter the Schengen area again and then I still have a three hour bus ride back to Budapest and I finished my day trip from Budapest to Vienna. It took me like 10 minutes to get through passport control. There were quite a few people waiting and the electronic gates, the e-gates were not working. So the officers were the only option. So my journey just came to an end here. Thank you so much for watching at least some parts of this video and consider subscribing because I have other videos like this coming up in the future. Have a great day. Bye bye.